Good afternoon, everyone. I am Professor Vian Dafase from KSSM BSUR Nare Mechanical Engineering Department. Today, we are going to deal with the topic wall timing diagram. The wall timing diagram is basically used in four stroke IC meter. Uh, so, first of all, one should know what is its significance. Uh, theoretically, the wall timing diagram is divided into four segments each segment of 180 degrees crank rotation but in actual case when we are going to deal with actual ICMG this wall timing diagram is shuffled and each of the stroke each of the segment is divided into different crank rotations so very first we will discuss with uh, theoretical wall timing diagram theoretically the walls are open so first of all I will mark PDC and BDC which will show us two restriction centers. Uh, theoretically the suction ball every cycle is started with a suction stroke. So suction stroke starts at PDC and it should close at PDC. So it will have an opening, theoretical opening of 180 degrees crank rotation. Similarly, next stroke followed by suction stroke is a compression stroke, which will be there for the next 180 degrees of crank rotation and which is nothing but the compression stroke. First one is suction, other one is compression. Then third stroke consecutively, it is a power stroke in which combustion of fuel is done. So every stroke you can see it is for 180 degrees crank rotation. And last is exhaust stroke. This is also done for 180 degrees crank rotation. So every segment is there for 180 degrees crank rotation. If you add all this four, you will get a cycle of 720 degrees crank crank rotation. But it is presumed that if you are able to uh, open index wall for more degrees of crank rotation than this theoretical, as well as if you are able to open the exhaust wall for more degrees than theoretical, then ultimately the efficiency parameters like volumetric efficiency and as well as thermal efficiency of an engine will improve. That is its significance. If you see here. Uh, so, one should know what is the probable opening of suction wall as well as probable opening of exhaust wall. So, we will deal with actual wall timing diagram. So, again I will mark TDC position and a position. And here you will find involves. So, I will start marking. Initially, the inlet wall opens just before TDC. As compared to theoretical diagram, if you see the suction wall, suction wall opens at TDC. Here it will open just before TDC. So, I will mark suction wall opening just before TDC. It is around 10 degrees before TDC. Why this 10 degrees before PDC? That we will discuss that. So, this suction wall will be open. Then, as usual, theoretical opening is there, 180 degrees. Further, it will keep open next uh, for next 40 degrees. So, if you see the entire opening of suction wall in actual diagram. So suction wall remains open for 10 plus 180 plus 40 that is around 230 degrees crank rotation. I will mark this as crank rotation. Then there will be a, a normal compression stroke. If you see I will use a purple color chalk for suction wall, then a compression up 
PPVC, then a power or combustion fuel or expansion fuel. You can say it. So this will be there up to next few days. But instead of opening exhaust valve at BDC, in actual cycle it will be somewhere around 40 degrees before BDC. I will show it by yellow color chalk. So exhaust valve open at 40 degrees before BDC. It will be then open for the next 40 degrees. It will have its original theoretical opening of 180 degrees. Still, it will not be closed at PVC. It will be kept open further more up to 10 degrees. So if you see the total opening of exhaust wall, so exhaust wall will be open for 40 plus 180 plus 10. So almost 230 degrees triangle. Now we all know uh, the cycle is completed in two revolutions of a crankshaft. Two revolutions of a crankshaft means 360 into 2 that is 720. So out of this 720, if you see the dividation, the dividation is already done. So 720 minus 230 minus 230. So it comes So it, it is around um, So if you see the dividation of this 720 degrees crank rotation, it is 720 minus 230 minus 230. So it comes 260 degrees of crank rotation. So this much degrees of crank rotations are now left for remaining two strokes. That is almost for compression. It is around 130 degrees crank rotation and for power it is remaining 130 degrees crank rotation. This 130 and 130 uh, may be somewhat uh, lesser than 20 or more than 20. So the tolerance is plus 20 minus 20 for this compression and power. But if you see the suction wall is kept open for 230 degrees crank rotation. Whereas in theoretical diagram you have seen it is it was for 180 degrees crank rotation. So additional 50 degrees crank rotation is an advantage where we can use it for suction of fresh charge, more suction of fresh charge. And if you know uh, biologically if you breathe oxygen more and more it will be helpful for our health will be helpful out, uh, for our engine, human engine. Similarly for IC engine, if you keep suction all open for more degrees than theoretical one, it will perform more. The added advantage is like that, uh, oxygen value, the fresh oxygen value is more than efficiency, thermal efficiency is also more. Similarly, if you are able to remove uh, exhaust gas from the engine for more time, definitely it will be cleaner engine. So for that purpose, we have to provide more time for the engine. So if you have seen, exhaust wall is also open for 230 degrees crank rotation. Now, the terms related to what timing diagrams that we are going to discuss here. First one, terms related to wall timing diagram. Number one is lead, simply called as wall lead. For wall lead, one should know uh, what is lead. The lead is nothing but the pre-opening of wall than its theoretical opening. Here you can see the suction wall is open before TDC, 10 degrees before TDC than theoretical. Similarly, Exhaust wall is open for 40 degrees before its theoretical level. Normally this lead is by default goes for exhaust wall because the opening of exhaust wall 
pre opening of exhaust wall is more than suction wall it is around 40 degrees here it is 10 degrees similarly the next term is lag or called as wall lag lagging is just uh, getting behind getting lagging so this term is applicable more applicable or body more applicable for inlet wall or suction wall you can see the wall lag is defined as uh, the post closure of a wall than its theoretical closure here suction wall has to be closed at bdc but to do further utilization of space we are closing it 40 degrees after bdc whereas the exhaust wall is, has to be closed at tdc but we are keeping it open for next 10 degrees after tdc if you see this 40 degrees is more than 10 degrees definitely this lag term is by default goes for suction wall and there is one more term called as overlap or simply called as wall lag particularly crucial is this region 10 degrees before TDC of suction wall and 10 degrees after TDC of exhaust wall this 20 degrees is nothing but wall overlapping so wall overlapping is also having its significance uh, the last two terms related to wall diving diagrams are scavenging this is very important scavenging the scavenging is the term uh, it is defined as removal of exhaust gas by the force of suction of fresh charge or entry of fresh charge in a combustion chamber that is done during this overlap so i am thank you to everyone thank you